I think the first issue that really starts in the forefront of my mind is the fact that we're in the second social justice, civil rights era right now. And so the black church has been a leading voice in the way that we always have been around this issue. And so we have been able to be a beacon to the rest of the Christian communities. Like, we don't know how to lament. Well, come over here, we'll help you. We don't know how to work through these issues. Well, come over here. We've never had to, what do you mean we can't meet in person? Oh, you have to meet in secret? Come over here, we'll show you how to do that. Because we've always had to do much with very little. We've always had to get creative because it was always something that happened that was upsetting the apple cart. And so in that way, we have been able to lead and be in the forefront of this is how you do church. This is what we have available. And so we've been able to be a beacon and a light in a way that other folks hadn't even had to be that kind of creative. I think another piece is the fact that women have always had a voice, but now that we have education in that voice, we are demonstrating the role of women, not just to have you know, positional leadership, but to really lead um, to the point earlier that we do have, and it's interesting, we now have black female church planners in a way we've not seen before. And it's because they're like, look, you know, we're ready and we're not waiting because we already have the education, we have the certification, we have the authority that's giving us through our denominational bodies, so we're ready to move. And so what that has done is for women that have been sitting in the pews wondering where they need to be and where they could find their voice, we've been able to demonstrate that as well. And so I think that, and I think the third thing I would point to is just addressing structural racism and being able to demonstrate in the community, where are those levers for real systemic change? Don't just come saying you wanna do relief work. Everybody wants to do relief work. Everybody wants to give a backpack. Everybody wants to do that. That's easy work. Let's come talk about how we make real systemic change. Now I live, well, I, I'm born and raised in Flint, Michigan, okay? And so I, we, you know, so when we talk about everybody wants to come in and do something, oh, you had water issues, we want to come in there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. How are you gonna come in so this never happens again? And that's where the black church has been leading. Like, look, don't just come in here occasionally and episodically. You need to come in here and plant yourself the way that we have been here for years. And I believe that's an issue where we're making systemic and real change. 